So actually, here we are started in the shower. Uh, I was just cleaning myself. <laughs> Another shower session. Uh, the the main riff. The... Um, that that was another kind of fragment of an idea that I had. We had recently learned a song by Kenny Rogers and Sheena Easton called uh, "We've Got Tonight." In that song, there is one line in the chorus that goes, "Here we are now." So we kind of. Oh, here we are now. <laughs> Like that. We were uh, inspired by that line and we just kind of decided to, to take that line and, and see how that could work as a title. When you fall in love, um, there's this like beautiful perfect honeymoon period and then at some point there's a disillusionment and then here we are now is that moment kind of of like the first... <laughs> Eight years later. I thought you were my better. There are a lot of songs that are written about kind of falling in love, and there are a lot of breakup songs, uh, but this kind of falls somewhere in the middle, in the gray area of, well, no, we're, we're still together, here, here we are, we've survived the challenges of being in a relationship. We recorded this song at The Cabin, which is our favorite place to work and record in Liverpool. In the studio, Obadiah was of course uh, playing a million guitars, very much uh, encouraged by our producer. We were very fortunate to have our dear friend Henry Burnett come in and put his magic touch on the track. He played organ and he also played some keyboard parts. Alec has this old Wurlitzer Fender Rhodes type uh, organ in it, which is not easy to play. It's a bit kind of unforgiving, but uh, <laughs> Henry pulled something beautiful out of it. We were also very fortunate to have Scott Poldy play on our track. Some excellent pedal steel and guitar touches. He added these little old school sounding country licks on the pedal steel in all the little spaces in between the lines and the chorus. It's always really interesting to come in with a demo into the studio and to see what comes out. We had a few extra bits and it was the intro was twice as long and the... That riff led into the chorus every time. Um, and our producer Alec Britz, who is great, a uh, great songwriter and musician, uh, listened to it a few times and said, you know what, I think we could maybe trim this down a little bit and make it a bit work a bit better. I really think it was a good a good change and it, it does it kind of it's almost kind of a surprise but it lifts right into the chorus. We always come come in with something a bit different and then come out with something more polished and more efficient that we're happier with. Mm -hmm.